uh, in this video, we will talk about uh, one kind of uh, distribution substation, specific type actually, uh, that's used in several countries, which is tip down the voltage from uh, 33 kilovolt into 11 kilovolt. And this substation is an indoor type, meaning that the whole system or all equipment are inside a building as opposed to an outdoor substation where you have the components, the different components exposed to the environmental conditions. So we'll start with a single line diagram. And since this is a 33 by 11 kilovolt system, you will have two sections. We have the 33 kilovolt section here, and we will have the 11 kilovolt section at the other side of the transformer. So in between, we have that transformer that stepped down the voltage from a 33 kilovolt to 11 kilovolt system. So what I'm going to do in the coming few minutes, I will zoom into each section of the substation and try to understand a little bit from the single line diagram and also i provide for that specific substation some photos of the 33 kilovolt section the transformer and the 11 kilovolt system so let's start so we'll start with the 33 kilovolt system where you have the incomer coming from another substation, which is will step down the voltage from a transmission level into this 33 kilovolt system. So this is a zoom of the uh, 33 kilovolt system. So here you can see that we have a cover XLPE. This is for the underground cable. So the incomer is actually an underground cable and it is 3C. 3C means it's a three core. So it's a single conductor has the three phase in, in inside that specific uh, conductor. And then here, this is the, the whole uh, feeder. You have here core one, two, three. These are actually current transformers, core one, two, and three. You have three, uh, three uh, current transformer in each phase to measure the current at the high voltage side. Also, we have a PT or potential transformer to measure the voltage at also the high voltage side. It's very important to measure the currents and the voltages at both the 33 kilovolt and the 11 kilovolt bus bars. Uh, then here we have M. This is for a motorized circuit breaker. This is to uh, switch on and off your circuit breaker. And this is 630 amp. This is the rating of the short circuit rating of the circuit uh, breaker. Uh, so let's uh, now have some uh, physical photos of this uh, circuit breaker. Now, this is the uh, the 33 kilovolt GIS system. It's an SF6 type. So here the we don't see the conductor. The conductors are basically inside this structure. They are basically there are conductors inside. And to reduce uh, the uh, distance between uh, or the clearance in, inside the substation, we use a GIS system here filled with SF6. SF6 is well known a very good insulating gas uh, that we use it, uh, in, in high voltage applications. Also, you see these bus bars, all these bus bars, this is for grounding. So the whole structure outside is grounded. So even if the substation is energized, you can safely touch the, the substation because everything has zero potential. Now, these the donuts look like these are all the current transformers I told you about. This is the one that we use to measure the current at the high voltage, the high voltage side. Now, for the front panel, where we can do some control, this is the front panel of the uh, 33 kilovolt uh, circuit breakers. Let me zoom here and show you what is what is there. So here we have, this is the incomer here, and it's switched on. So this is substation is energized, okay? So from the 33 kilovolt side, it's going all the way to the primary of the transformer. The grounded the grounding is off. Now, whenever we want to do a maintenance in the circuit breaker, we have to ground the, the structure of the substation for safety. So basically, we will open this part. This has to be opened, and then this will be closed. So the substation will be, or the circuit breaker will be grounded. Here is a gauge for the SF6 pressure. 
Now, the SF6, if there is any leak, it will go to a low level, which is not good because this will reduce the insulating property of the SF6. If there is a fault inside, the pressure will go to high level. So between these two red signs, this is the green zone, which is the allowed pressure of the of the SF6. So this is a brief uh, saw our brief description about the 33 kilovolt side. Let's move now to the transformer, which is in between the 33 and the 11 kilovolt side. Let's zoom on in the transformer and see some more details. So this is a 10 MVA. This is the rating. This is the power rating of the transformer. It's a 10 MVA. Onan. Onan means oil natural, air natural, meaning that the circulation of the oil inside the tank done naturally and the air around the transformer also is circulating naturally. As opposed, for example, to ONAF, oil natural air force, or OFAF, oil forced air force so we have different types of cooling of the of the transformer this one is an onan then we have here the voltage level 33 kilovolt by 11.5 kv this is when the transformer is at no load the voltage will be a bit high then we have plus 10 percent to minus 15 percent in steps of 1.25 percent now to control the voltage at the secondary side of the transformer, why we need to do that? Because as we know, the load is varying. As the volt, the load goes up and down, then the voltage will go up and down. We want to maintain the voltage within certain tolerance. Usually, the voltage has to be maintained around uh, three to five percent at the low voltage side or the 11 kilovolt side. To maintain this, I have to control the voltage whenever there is any change in the load using the tab changer. The tab changer basically is tabs at the high voltage side. So by increasing the number of turns or reducing the number of turns, so I can increase the voltage up to 10% or reduce it up to 15%. And each step is 1.25% of the rated voltage. So, and this is done using an online or on load tab changer. The on load tab changer, what does it mean? It means it does the change in the tabs when the transformer is energized. There is, on the other hand, for the small transformers, offload tab changer. You can do this, but only when the transformer is not energized. Of course, we need to measure the current also at the high voltage and the low voltage side, and we need also to measure the voltage as, as well. So let's have some look to the physical structure of the transformer. So this is the 10 MVA transformer. We see here at the top the conservator. The conservator basically whenever the transformer oil gets heated, it needs to expand, so it go up here. And when the transformer is cooled, the oil goes down. So this is give you a room for the expansion and the contraction of the of the oil. Now, this is the high voltage side, and this is the low voltage side. Now, the transformer is basically, uh, if you go back here, it is DY in 11. What does it mean, DY in 11? It means that at the high voltage side, it's connected as delta, and at the low voltage side, it's connected as Y and N because of the neutral. So in the delta, as we know, we need only three conductors. So these are the three conductors at the high voltage side. But for the low voltage side, we need four conductors, three for the three phase and one for the neutral. So this is the red, yellow, and blue phases. And each phase will have two conductors. And as we know, in the low voltage side, we have higher current. So we need more conductors to carry that current. And here is this is our this is our neutral for the YN. Now it says D Y N 11, as we have seen here, D Y N 11. This is what we call the vector group. D for delta, Y N is for the connection. Now 11, this is the phase shift between the delta and the Y in 11 or and the Y co connection. And we'll talk about that in a separate video to describe the difference between the different vector groups in the in the transformer. 
Uh, this is shows to you the actual tab selection of that specific transformer. So whenever there is a change in the tab, this will be done here and it is an auto mode, meaning that whenever the voltage drops, you want to increase the voltage, you increase the number of tab. If the voltage increases, then you reduce the voltage to maintain the voltage, as I mentioned, within certain within certain limit. You can change that from auto to manual if you want to change the tab changer uh, in, in a manual way. Then we have the 11 kilovolt side with which is the outgoing of the substation. So the incomer is 33, the outgoing is 11 kilovolt, and this is will go each. Each feeder will go and basically supply a load of certain of certain uh, type could be uh, houses, could be uh, shops and so on and so forth. So if we zoom a little bit here, we see that this is an outgoing cable feeder, outgoing, outgoing uh, cable feeder, but here we see auxiliary transformer. I will come to, to, to this, but here now you can see that this is the 11 kilovolt uh, bus, and we have all these outgoings coming from them. They are identical to each other. And if we want to see uh, how they look like, this is how they look like. Basically, this is the 11 uh, kilovolt bus, and these are the or here, sorry, here, this is the 11 kilovolt, and these are the outgoing. Again, the grounded is off, the grounding is off, basically, and it's connected to, to supply, to supply the load. Again, even uh, also, if you want to do any maintenance here, we disconnect that part and we ground it, actually. We make it connected to the ground. And the 11 kilovolt side is basically we are using, or in that specific substation, they are using a, a vacuum circuit breaker. So the insulating medium, again, it's a GIS system. It doesn't show here, it's in the back of this panel. But the GIS system, basically, uh, it is uh, filled, uh, no gas is there, it is a, a vacuum. Usually the 11 kilovolt, 13.8 kilovolt, they use vacuum, 33 kilovolt and above, you need more insulation, so we use the, the SF6. Uh, this is the auxiliary transformer I told you about. What is the objective of that transformer? Is to supply the local loads in the substation. You have some uh, uh, lighting there, you have some air conditions, so you have different loads inside the substation and you want to feed them. So we use this auxiliary transformer uh, to do that. So this is basically a short description of that specific substation. And hopefully in the future, we'll talk about some other setups, other configuration of different substations.